got here? Well, this is a zero motorcycle motor. It's a 40 kilowatt motor, which is approximately 55 horsepower. And the uh, controller also comes from the zero motorcycle. We're also using the zero motorcycle battery and the whole rest of the system. It's kind of like we took the powertrain out of the motorcycle and put it on the airplane and attached the gearbox. Where did the zero motorcycle, where does it come from? It comes from a company in Santa Cruz, or uh, Scotts Valley, California. Uh, they're actually the largest uh, manufacturer of electric motorcycles in the world. And uh, they, they build a really excellent system. And how did you come across them? Oh, uh, Dale Kramer and I were looking for, for stuff that we can use. And he, he actually found it. And so we went over there to talk them into selling powertrains for ultralight airplanes. And at the time, they, they agreed to do it. So, so the system then, it's coming directly, like this is a power plant that they have, they use complete as you see it here. That's right. Okay. And then what you've done is you've taken this and you've added the Rotex uh, gearbox to it. Yeah, this is a temporary addition. This is a really nice setup, mm -hmm. but we wouldn't be using the Rotex uh, gearbox in, in, a, in a production condition because uh, I don't think Rotex would like us to do that. <laughs> yeah. But also the other reason is that uh, the, the gearbox is much heavier duty than we need. And uh, the Zero uh, motorcycle runs with a Kevlar belt, small one. So we're going to use that belt and build up a, a drive system. What, are you are using the 2.5 H1 reduction on this? Yes, it is. Because this, when I started climbing out uh, yesterday, I mean, it was so quiet. And, I mean, you just, the acceleration as far as the climb was amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 a powerful little engine, and uh, or motor, or whatever you want to call it. The uh, uh, we're running a 71 inch propeller and we're running it at 1300 rpms through the gearbox. The, the motor is running around around 36 to, to 4000. And what type of life can we get out of uh, like uh, flight time? What time are we looking at? Well, the battery board? system we have in it right now is an 11.4 kilowatt hour battery from the motorcycle. It's their large battery and it'll run for a little over an hour. Uh, in, in that, uh, you know, in, in a, uh, the flight profile would be to climb the 2,000 feet and cruise at your most efficient speed for, for an hour and then come in and land. And what does this whole system weigh then? Well, the, the, the battery itself uh, weighs 170 pounds. And the controller is about, about eight, I think. And the motor is 37 pounds. So this is a fairly heavy system right now then? Yeah. It's, it's heavier than what, what we want to end up with because the, the gearbox is also adds weight to it. And, and they don't, then they also have a smaller motor too, which would be a little lighter. And uh, this motor is more power than we need, but it's, it's, uh, it's got lots of, lots of guts. And what about dollars and cents wise? How would this compare to say a Rotax uh, 447 as far as price wise? Um, to the whole I'd system. have to sit down and do the figures. But uh, I think as far as weight, I mean, as far as power goes, it's more, more like a 503 for, for its output. Mm -hmm. And as far as price, I think you're probably looking at around 13,000 or so for, 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 the system. for all this stuff. But in that, you're also getting the battery, which is the fuel right. that you're going to be using over. Yeah, and, and the battery has a 3,000 hour life. So that's, that's quite a long time. And so that means that if you were to replace the battery after 3,000 hours, it cost you, uh, I forgot the numbers, but uh, probably $3 an hour. Because if you were looking at a Rotax at 503, you could be using, say, on easy figures, four gallons an hour. Right. So that's 12,000 gallons of fuel. Yeah, 12,000 gallons would add up to a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just right now, even at $3, say $4 for easy figuring, Right. I mean, that's like $50,000 worth of fuel. Right. So yeah. this whole system, when you you look at it that way, makes sense if you're flying, you know, say over a 10 year period of time. Sure. Because you're not having engine rebuilds and, and that type of thing. Right. Into that equation, you'd have to add the electricity too, because you have to pay for that. It would cost a dollar an hour. A dollar an hour. So, 
how far along are you to getting a system that you feel will be adaptable or be available for uh, ultralight application? Well, I think this system like it is here is, is would work very well. Yeah, but I mean, this is not a production system. You've got the gearbox, you've got other things that uh, you're saying there's a smaller motor or an aero motor. Well, uh, it's one of those issues that if somebody wanted to put this stuff on their airplane, it worked really well. They could go with a gearbox or, or, or run a, a belt drive. Um, that's, that's, that to me is a minor issue. So if somebody wanted to get in contact you with a little more information on the system, uh, how would they do that? Well, you could contact us at uh, uh, thundergull.com. That's T-H-U-N-D-E-R-G-U-L-L.com. And uh, where are you physically located? In California, uh, near San Luis Obispo. Uh, Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome.